All right, we're back. My voice is semi back. Hey, Tavis. Hey. It's Tavis King. He has his own YouTube channel. Link will be below. Tavis has looked at these three revised dual lands that was sent by Rusty Denlay. Rusty says, Hey, Dan, I bought these from eBay um, from three different sellers. I do not believe they are that they I do not I do believe that they are real but when looking through a loop I notice something very different about these there are these two little black dots by the red dot plus inside of the green circle on the back huh. yeah. I would appreciate it if you would authenticate these for me and give me peace of mind the trouble island looks like it may have water damage which is true which is fine because I bought it for a legacy deck. Thank you very much for your time, Rusty Denley. Well, I just put his name out there. Rusty, I hope you don't get spooked. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tavis, you're the guy. So what do you yep. think? You looped it? Oh, that's yep. a loop. Here's the loop. So yep. you, 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 did something that ta you did something that Edwin does not do. Use a loop. Oh, okay. Remember that meme he did of you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that, that was video. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'll put that link, guys. The best video you'll ever watch of Edwin Engineer was the impression... Right, Clint? Such a funny video. video. The best video. I keep replaying that video and I crack up every time. Because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, Travis, go ahead. Yeah. Over. So, uh, looking at the green dot on the back is a common area where people look at to authenticate the cards. Uh, really, you can look at any area if you just look at it close enough and you, you pay attention to where you're looking at. You could look at any of the other dots or, or you know wherever you feel like looking. But... The green area is a common area to look, and so there's a little a print spec there from the black ink plate that's that's there. It's, it's just a, you could call it a misprint, but it's so minor that you can't hardly see it without a loop. But it's there. I've looked at the card on the other side, I've looked everywhere else. Uh, that's totally a real card, and nothing to be concerned about. All right, that's so it's all three. Yeah, all three have them. And so and there's you, probably quite a few other revised cards that have that too. That print spec is going to be on a lot of sheets. Okay. They print three sheets per second. Nowhere near a majority of the print run, but there's going to be more out there for sure. Sure. And you, you were telling me you've seen a lot of green dots and red dots and all the dots. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what's the common thing when you look at the dots? What are you looking for? The most common thing? Uh, typically, what people are looking for is the red dots that are inside the yellow portion of the green colored dot. <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Right. Did you guys get that? If I could blow it up and put it on the screen for you, uh, you'd see it really easy. Say it one more time. One more time. Sure. So inside this, this green dot on the back, there's a yellow area. It's kind of the highlight area of the dot. And inside that dot, there are some red dots. Right. So there's four little red dots, and they're kind of L-shaped, and they're at an angle I wonder if we can get, here, do this real quick. Here. I don't know. Maybe you can try. Here, go ahead and uh, can, you, can you put position it? Sure. I'll yeah. just see if I can. I'll try to hold it here. And... Oh, you got the green dot, right? Yep. I think so. Uh, oh, there's a green dot. No. Yeah. Let me see if I can just do it straight up like on this. Sure. Is it strong enough? Is it in... strong enough? Some phones are. Trick is to hold it still. Yes, okay, do you see that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see the black speck there. You guys see that? And the red dot is the one you're talking about, right? The yellow? Yeah, there's some red there's some red dots inside the yellow of this this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of them's covered up by the black dot, but well then the green dot question for Rusty, you see the two little black dots of yellow? That's what he's questioning about. Yep. Interesting. Alright, well that's really interesting. I um I, I kind of feel like this one was an oddball one, but Rusty, I think uh, you you should have some you should have a hundred percent peace of mind. It's yep. fine. They're in real. fact, if we start dishing out all the revised dual lands we have, I'm pretty sure we'd find that again. We easily yeah. find it again. I almost if I almost, you have a large enough sample size, you'll see it again. Right. Interesting that uh, these two cards are Tiagas, and this one is a Tropical Island. So that's going to affect uh, probably several different cards, not just duels. Would you consider so? Would you consider Nesso in the misprint category where there's value to it, or no? no? There's it's way too small to have any value, and it's on the back, and like it, you'll never see it inside a sleeve. So right, for for a misprint to have value, it really needs to 
be noticeable, like say from across the table, like when you're playing, because you right. want that wow factor. You right. want someone to say, hey, what's that? Right. And if like there's no way anyone's gonna notice that little dot on the back inside a sleeve, so. Yeah. Oh, side note, did you ever know this? Tropical Island, there's a, uh, when Jesper drew this painting, I don't got the exact quote on it. I did know that. Yeah, his friend, there's a, there's a guy on the island, uh, or a dot, or like somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's Jesper. It's, it's a picture of himself on the beach there. Yeah. Like, you can't tell from the thing, right? It, that's, can you um, tell? I've, I've seen the picture that he used to stick in there, but. It's so I, small. Yeah, it's really small, and after they half-toned it, like, it's. Yeah, it's like a really low resolution image. So the original art would probably yeah, yeah the yeah. original art would be would, you'd be able to see it. But yeah. on this, with all the you know the rosettes and everything, it's like just all that's dirty, awesome. So. All right, Travis, thanks again, guys. Watch this channel below. Your channel is growing a lot, and yep. by the way, it's one of the best channels. Getting a lot of information, and um, he's just an overall great guy. All right, guys, we're leaving GP Vegas 2019 right now. Take care. Thanks, Travis. See you later. Yep. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. Thank you everyone for joining me. It's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. I'm excited to share more about our appraisal services. All right, so the first step of the appraisal process is determining if your items are authentic. After determining that the items are authentic, we will then do a market evaluation of your items. So oftentimes, clients ask me, hey, Dan, I want to insure my collectibles. Well, after the authenticity and evaluation part of the appraisal process, I would then construct an official letter and we would send that off to the insurance company. Your insurance provider would then offer you insurance based on the valuations and authenticity. We also offer pre-grading services. So collectors who are looking to save money on grading um, can go through us. We will actually grade and authenticate the cards before you send it off to grading and that will save you potentially thousands of dollars on grading fees. Also, we offer estate collection services. So basically, if you've acquired a collection over the years, either from a family member or yourself, and you want to pass it down to your, uh, your kids, um, we're able to determine valuations based on the levels of today. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.